The date is set. We now know when Brandon Vandenberg and Corey Beatty will be back before a jury. The second Vanderbilt rape trial will happen this fall after a grand jury handed down new indictments in the case. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon is in the newsroom, and Chris, not everybody's happy with the date. Well, Vicki, November 30th is when this trial is scheduled to start. The state wanted it in September, the defense in January, but today Judge Monty Watkins decided the end of November is when this will happen. We're going to reserve the entry of any plea. In the same courtroom in front of the same judge with the same defendants, new indictments restart the second Vanderbilt rape trial, but this time with no plea. We just want to make sure that we're not waiving any rights for our clients. So that's the reason to reserve any plea for right now. Former Vanderbilt students Brandon Vandenberg and Corey Beatty have been here before, no, but aren't. this time around with more precise wording in their indictments and a defense strategy that will most likely change. I don't think anybody would ever try a case the same exact way twice. And so I, th I think for us, we'd like the opportunity to review the transcript. Um, have the opportunity to see what we need to tweak. We've uh, got to get the uh, trial transcript prepared. In the courtroom, the defense argued for a trial date after September because Vandenberg has a new legal team. Obviously, we would like as much time as we can get to adequately prepare a defense for Mr. Vandenberg. We feel like the court will give us that. Judge Monty Watkins felt four and a half months was plenty of time to prepare and set the trial date for November 30th. The state is the architect of the prosecution. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says even though a trial date is set, there's still a chance it won't happen. The judge is going to go ahead and reset this case to keep the pressure on the parties uh, to, to bring this case to a closure. Uh, and also if there's any kind of uh, settlement negotiations to keep the pressure on them to continue those discussions. But for now, November 30th is the day the trial starts again in this courtroom. And General Thurman says the victim in this case is ready to go forward with a new trial. Now there was talk in court today about changing the venue for this trial and that could delay the proceedings if that happens. Two other defendants, Jabaria McKenzie and Brandon Banks also face new indictments in this case. Their case will be tried separate from this one. In the newsroom, Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD.